Hi Scorpio, welcome to your daily love reading. My name is Pretty, and I'll be doing your love reading today. So before we begin with your love reading Scorpio, please do remember to take what resonates and to leave behind whatever does not. Okay, so let's begin with your love reading Scorpio. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the Empress, and this is Venus energy, Taurus, Libra energy. So this is a card of someone who's showing up as their divine feminine. This is someone who's nurturing and abundant. Um, there's also an energy here of planting seeds to build something that will last a very long time. Okay, so let's see what the rest of the cards have to say. Okay, we have the Fool, Aquarius energy. The Strength card, Leo energy and the four of wands fire energy so someone is definitely ready to you know really invest in a connection with you the four of wands is showing up as a relationship um there's this feeling of being very happy with you and wanting to progress wanting to progress the relationship the full card does show being at the start of this journey so there's definitely someone who's ready to open up to this they feel safe with you um there could be something new and unfolding in this relationship uh, for some, for example, there could be a pregnancy or moving in together, but there's this feeling of entering into a new chapter or a new phase in the connection. The bond is showing up as very strong with the strength card being here. So let's clarify these cards, Scorpio. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the Justice card, and this is Libra energy. So there's definitely an energy of wanting to make this connection official in some way. So let's see. Okay, we have the, the, the Page of Swords, Air energy, the Queen of Pentacles, Earth energy, and the, and the Devil in the Reverse, Capricorn energy. So yeah, someone is definitely wanting this connection to move in a healthy direction. And there's a feeling of really investing in this. The Page of Swords does show a feeling of learning you, learning the situation, um, really wanting to put their best foot forward here. Because someone sees you as uh, quite a catch with the Queen of Pentacles. They see you as someone who's healthy, stable, and um, someone who's worth investing in or committing to. Okay, so I'm going to pull out an oracle card for you, um, Scorpio. Okay, so we have show the world the real you full moon in aquarius so there's definitely someone who is wanting this connection to move forward in terms of intimacy there's this feeling of um integrity a genuine energy here okay so i'm gonna put another card for you So we have getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves, your bond deepens. And we also have this card of showing the world the real you. So there could be a deepening of intimacy happening here. Okay, so I'm going to put another card for you.
Okay, we have White Rose, new start and wisdom. Knowing yourself is the beginning of all wisdom. So there's some sort of new chapter that's about to happen for this connection. Okay, so I'm going to plot a card for your advice, um, Scorpio. Okay, so we have surrender your fear of change. The universe is reminding you that you are cared for always. Whether you're afraid of a change in your job, your health, or a relationship, or if you fear aging or death, repeat the affirmation, I have faith that all is well. So there's a new start coming for this connection, and it may require some sort of embracing of change. Okay, so that's what I'm seeing for you, Scorpio. I hope you have a really, really good day, Scorpio. Bye, Scorpio.